Today I am doing a Vocal Coach Reacts video to Jeremy Jordan singing She Used To Be Mine from the musical Waitress. Multiple people have sent this to me before. Um, I've never gotten around to watching it. Everyone says it's amazing. Finally, my TBS co-founder Tom said, you have to watch this and you have to make a video. So I'm watching it and I'm making a video. So this is for you, Tom. I'm super excited. I'm a big fan of Jeremy Jordan. I think he is a phenomenal vocalist. He's a really incredible example of a contemporary tenor in the world of contemporary musical theater. So long before people knew him from TV, from Supergirl or whatever, us Broadway fans knew who Jeremy Jordan was and we loved him. So we're gonna give this a listen today. I love this song and I've never heard a guy do it. So this is gonna be really, really interesting. Let's give it a... Let's give it a listen. And before we get started here, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, The Balanced Singer. Click it. Let's give this a go. <clears throat> not simple to say the most days I don't recognize me at these shoes and this apron this place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them so right off the bat I'm just curious as to what key he's doing this in so da 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 obviously lower than what I can do. So it looks like he's doing this down a major fourth or even a, like, what is a fourth and another half step? I should know the answer to that. The Broadway key for women is G flat. It's not simple to say. And he's doing this here. It's not simple. He's doing it in C. So is that a tritone? Is it a tritone when it's a fourth and a half step? somewhere between a fourth and a fifth, my college music theory teacher would be very upset with me. So he's doing it down in Sydney McKinley, that's fine. So basically right now he's just topping out a C. It's not simple to say. Great, let's continue. Interesting to know. Not easy to you know I'm not anything Like I used to be Although it was true I was never Attention, sweet. It's just so chill and calm I here at the beginning. That girl. So simple. Here comes the chorus. She's imperfect, mm. but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She's hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. So already in this first chorus, he's demonstrating. Uh, a more released way to get through that first passage. She's imperfect, right? Kind of releasing into a, uh, a headier sensation, a lighter sensation. And then he comes right back. She is messy, staying more connected, holding on to more of that chest voice feeling right through that first passage. It's an F above middle C. So again, that's right in the middle of a male first passage. Let's see what he continues to do. I like this. It's a cool stylistic choice. It's what the women choose to do. They flip it at first and then they come back and do it with some more um, muscle, some more chest voice feeling. So he's kind of following suit here. Let's keep going. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely. Most of the time she is all of this up to the G. She is gone, and then flipping she again. Is my cool. I mean, he has such a great control over that. And it's and not it's what I asked right. for. Sometimes life, oh, it slips in through the back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. Now I've got you. You're not what I asked for 
If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over. Rewrite wow. it. So controlled. For that girl that I knew would be so nice. Just Not too heavy. By a man who can love Oh, and then she'll be stuck And be scared of a lie That's inside her growing strong Every day Till it finally reminds her to fight Oh, I can pause that Till it finally Up to A So good And you know what? He doesn't splat it He doesn't go Till it finally he keeps it balanced till it finally reminds her. And it's just a vowel choice that he makes. That's what keeps it in control. That's so cool. Keep going. Just a little and bring back the fire in her eyes. That's been gone, but it used to be. Okay, so he goes through this super cool uh, bridge section, the bridge of the song, um, through just like the most exciting part of a male voice, right? My used to be, so the G, A flat, A used to be. Let me make sure that's really where he talked out at. Oh, yeah, he comes back down from there. So exciting. And what he manages to do is that he is keeping that connection from chest voice, but he's not just pulling up his chest voice. If he was doing that, it would sound like he was yelling. It would sound really abrasive. We would probably like not really like that sound all that much. This sounds so powerful and like visceral and poignant because he's allowing those vocal folds to stretch just enough through this part of his voice, right? Thin out just enough instead of just staying heavy all the way up. Just like that. <laughs> so when he goes this, Mah! he could have done that, but instead he goes, used to be, or whatever he does. But it used to be. that he's able to find that really beautiful blend from bottom to top. That's a version of a mix for sure right there. It's not just yelling chest voice, there's no way. He couldn't, he couldn't sing those high notes with such vitality and vibrance um, if it was all just chest voice, right? If he was just pulling chest voice up. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Great, so then he gets through this, the cool bridge, and then immediately comes back to da -da -da -da, this light part of his voice. Let's see what he does here in the end. She is messy, but she's kind. She is long. Back that flip. Most of the time, she's all of this mixed up, baked, and beautiful. She is gone. Gone. She is. Jeremy Jordan. Gorge! Like, so gorge. He's so talented. Oh my gosh. So, the thing, oh, I'm not emotional. I just had something in my eye. Got it. Yeah, I think he's just, his technique is so good. And because of that, he's able to completely lose himself in the storytelling. And that is why we work on technique, right? Is so that we don't have to think about how we're gonna sing that high note. So the audience doesn't have to worry if we're gonna be able to hit that high note or the low note or whatever note and anywhere in between so that he can really just communicate 
this story and get completely wrapped up in the the acting choices and the stylistic choices he wants to make because he has all those choices available to him. That's the point. It's so cool. I love it. I think Jeremy Jordan is awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I want to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, The Balanced Singer. We put out new vocal coach reacts videos and other inform informative uh, tips and tricks for you singers um, on a regular basis. So subscribe below and find us on social media too. We are active on Instagram at Balanced Singer and I would love to chat with you on there. Send us any questions or thoughts or any other videos that you'd like us to react to. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.